Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Still got a bit of a cold, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll struggle through. Yes, be brave. Um, right, today we're going to take a look at the Tier 8 Premium British Destroyer Cossack. Now, I haven't had a lot of time this week um, to play, so... I kind of accepted that I'm going to end up having to buy this ship anyway. So I did. I bought it. And here she is. Um, initial impressions on this ship are earn the things. Earn the uh, Royal Navy um, uh, guineas for completing the missions. And you will get this at a far discounted rate. And that, I think, will make it worth getting. So, let's have a quick look at the numbers. Survivability, 15,200. Um, let's make some comparisons here, shall we? Okay, so, lightning, 15,900. Uh, yeah, I have finally unlocked this. Um, Shen Yang, 12,800. Lo Yang, 14,600. Uh, Harakaze, 13,300. So, oh, good grief, yeah. Battleship Akizuki with 20,400. Um, so you can kind of see that it's not, it's not stupid. Uh, stupidly, you know, large hit point. Paul, it's a very average and very comparable to um, its peers at tier 8. So the destroyers around tier 8, I mean the, the kid is the anomaly really, because uh, you get the heal as well on the kid. So yeah, 16,700 really kind of invites you to get in there and get stuck in. Hmm. 15,200, and no heal, not so much, not so much, artillery wise, well, there you go, armour, none, um, so yeah, that's the thing, uh, artillery wise, we have four twin mounted, woo, funky camera, um, yeah, four twin mounted 120mm guns, so that's eight barrels, on a destroyer. That's a lot. You know, that, that really is a lot. If we look at the Lightning, for example, it's got three twins, so six guns. The Kiev, uh, three twins, six guns. Shenyang, four single mounted guns. Luoyang, four single mounted guns. Uh, the Kid, five single mounted guns. So this thing has a crazy amount of guns for a destroyer. You know, at least two, if not three or four more guns than its peers. Um, this makes it quite effective. This does make it quite effective. If we look at the uh, figures here, 20 up 100 max AP, uh, 120 mil AP. You can use it. You can use it on light cruisers. You can use it on other destroyers. Um, superstructure hits on heavy armored stuff like battleships. Kind of works. Um, but the AP is really for small ships. The HE 1700 max damage and an 8 percent fire chance now the captain i've got here you can see we've got uh, concealment expert we've got the uh, extra on the consumables there uh yeah so no demolition expert so yeah hmm you could bump that up there are 120 mil guns now if i remember correctly on this you will get a plus two percent and if you were to partner that with IFHE you would get 
30% more penetration on your HE shells. HE shells don't bounce. So if you're aiming at superstructure stuff, you are going to get consistently good damage. You really will. Um, so I would consider a demo expert IFHE kind of build as appropriate for this particular ship. Firing range on there is 11.9, which is lovely. Uh, just a quick aside, actually. Five second reload, which is okay. Um, you know, it's not blisteringly fast, but it's fast. <sighs> the 180 degree turn time is 18 degrees. Now, on a destroyer, you feel that, you do, because you've got a nippy, nimble ship, and the guns can struggle to keep up. They can. If you're tracking a target that's a little bit close and you're in a turn, they're not ideal. Put it that way. Torpedoes. Yes, we have torpedoes. We have a single, yep, just one quad mounted launcher in the middle of the ship. 10 kilometer range, 62 knots, so not bad range at all, you know, 10 kilometers, but 62 knots, yeah, yeah could, could be quicker, could be quicker. 16,767 damage, however, is pretty good. We're almost in the Japanese range here, um, so yeah, that's pretty good. And you can turn your torpedoes quicker than you can turn your guns. That's interesting. Hmm. Detectability of them is 1.3 kilometers, but they're going 62 knots, so by then, if you're not already turning, could be too late if you're in a battleship. Maneuverability-wise, we have 36 knots top speed, we have 610 meter turning circle, and 2.0 rudder shift. That is with these upgrades. So we have concealment, we have steering gear mod two, which reduces the rudder shift, aiming system mod one, damage con mod one, and of course, main armament mod one. We've got lots of guns. Why wouldn't we want to keep lots of guns going? Um, See, so yeah, that's uh, a bit of a change on that. It's 20% off, so that would have been, I don't know, 3.3 maybe, 3.4. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's taken a nice chunk off of that anyway. Um, detectability with concealment mod and concealment expert is 5.3. Five kilometers. This is one sneaky mofo. You can get in close, you really can. And then, albeit that you've only got the one launcher, you do have the single torp launch option. So you can spread the torps around a bit if you want to. It's an interesting boat, it really is. Uh, 3.2 kilometers by air, two kilometers. Proximity spot, same as every boat in the game, and 2.5 if you fire your guns from smoke. Mm. The smoke. Let's talk about the smoke, shall we? Yeah. Hmm. It's interesting. So we have a 10 second action time. Those of you that have taken out British light cruisers will be very familiar with this. Um, you get like your double puff or triple puff or whatever it is of smoke. Uh, your dispersion is 40 seconds. So the smoke doesn't hang around very long. Um, and then you have a 90 second reload time. So you have 50 seconds after you have initially triggered your smoke before your next cloud is available. If we were to put on a premium version, we now have, <laughs> oh dear, 30 seconds. Yeah. So, fire your smoke, you sit in it, mm. 
and um, soon as your smoker's discharged, it will start reloading. 40 seconds after you have laid down your smoke, uh, it will dissipate, and then 30 seconds after that, you can do it all again. Yeah. Quite sneaky. So, we've had a look. We've looked at the stats. We've looked at the uh, captain skills. We have got some flags on here, which, uh, you know, full disclosure and all that. Uh, as you can see, they're all economic flags. They're not flags that will affect the ship. You could put a speed flag on. That will boost up the speed a little bit. If we were to put that on, uh, if I highlight it, it takes it at 37.8 knots. Um, which, yeah, do you know what? If you were playing this and you were coming up across a, or coming up upon uh, a lot of fast enemy destroyers, then yeah, you might want to do that. But uh, for the purposes of this, we're going to take it into a co-op. So we've got a reasonably consistent tool to measure how this fares against the other ships. It's a tier 10 game. Well, what do you know? We're in a destroyer though, so it's not too bad. And we also have 5.5 kilometer detection radius. So actually, that's okay. So we have the X, uh, the Z52, we have the gearing, uh, Cleveland, Worcester, so radar, Kerr first, so that's going to have uh, hydroacoustic, I believe. I don't know, I haven't got the Kerr first, but uh, I think it's got hydroacoustic. Um, Montana, yeah, and a Shikaku. So planes and radar are going to be our biggest competition here. The other destroyers, not so much. Not so much. The gearing is a very good boat. The gearing is a very, very good boat. But I've got eight guns. Yeah. So there's that. Um, do I want to push into C? No, probably not. I'm going to push over to B. And with any luck, I'll be able to tuck in and try getting some cat. We do have the gearing going over there, though. So, do you know what? I'm going to leave him to it. I'm going to, I'm going to push C. In which case, we have a tiny little island there. Look at the tiny little island. Yeah, oh, isn't it cute? Right. Now then, firing arcs. Enemy force detected. This is where this ship falls down a little bit because you have to be there to get all your guns up which isn't great so we do have something in here already there he is the cossack uh, uh, torpedoes aren't loaded yet I'm going to turn around and I'm spotted so I'm gonna drop a smoke, smoke generator activated. because that's basically what the smoke on this thing is for So we will try and get some shots on that Cossack. I want to take his engine out if I can. There we go. Because that makes him way less manoeuvrable. And far less dangerous. Right, he's gone. That's good. Now we have the old uh, Cleveland over here. You see what I mean about the gun traverse? It's not great. It really isn't. But there's the Cleveland. We're detected. Our smoke has dissipated already. But, yeah, like I say, we don't have to wait very long at all. And, oh, Cleveland shells came in. Now then, we have the old uh, saucy Worcester over here. Look at the lift on them. We're shooting the sky. 
Okay, you do have to give a fair bit of lead then with these guns. Well, we'll never find out because somebody sunk it. So let's get in here, let's get this cap quick. Um, we do have, of course, the speed boost, which uh, is unusual because British destroyers don't have speed boost. Hmm. Let's try a blind fire on these. How, how good was my guess? Do you know what? I'll take that. I will take that. That blind fire there was pretty good. We've got five shells hit. No shattered, but yeah, we can live with it. And we'll now head... Oh, there we go, look. Some more. So, yeah, you can do the old firing over island thing. Um, what have we still got left? We've got the currywurst up in A. Uh, we're doing 38.9 knots here. Oh, the currywurst is, uh, yeah, he's, he's at it. There we go, the shikaku. And we're in a good position here. We can get some shots on it. How are they doing? Yeah, that's not a bad, bad way to do this. Oh, well, no, it's somebody sunk her. So, quick game. Uh, but it does show off the abilities of this particular ship. You know, we got in, we got out. We were really quite uh, quite good here as far as 26 shells on target. Not a lot of damage, but that's the low caliber of the guns. So, you know, we got an assist cap, uh, incapacitation where we took out the uh, Cossacks engines, got a fire there. Spotted three ships, 94, 722, 1609 on the XP, and 536 free XP. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to say we're not going to be up very high with those numbers, but uh, I'm pleased we're not at the bottom. It takes a bit of getting used to this, um, especially the uh, the fact, oh, my premium's run out. Oh, no. Oh, woe is me. Um, so yeah, 60,517 take home and 3617 on the Commander XP. Had my premium not a run out, um, yeah, it would have been that. Ah, I'm going to have to get some more premium now. Oh, oh dear. So, the Cossack. Yes, the Cossack, as I've heard some Americans call it. It's not a Cossack, it's a Cossack, as in the tribe. Mmm, tribal class. Mmm, yes. Um, which um, is really quite a nice little boat. I wouldn't recommend purchasing it directly from the premium shop if you are earning the guineas. Earn your guineas and then buy the guineas. If we just jump into the premium shop, for example, if you max out, you can get 48 guineas, okay? Um, if we look down here, in a mid, the millions of things they've got on offer, you can see here that you would need to spend £1.52 presently uh, to get the two extra guineas, and then you can cash them in for the Cossack. Hmm, definitely worth doing. Or even if you just get 30, you just pick it up for £15, which is way, way better than the £30 and 33 pence that it currently is. So if you get 30, you can get the thing half price. The more you get, the cheaper it gets, <coughs> which kind of makes sense. So, yeah, there we go. Let me know your thoughts. Um, do you like this style of earn stuff to get a discount?
personally I think it's quite good but let me know your thoughts so let me know your thoughts on the ship do you like her are you going to earn the bits for her pick her up at a nice discount hmm let me know your thoughts you know the story guys if you enjoyed the video the old like button is there and loves a little tickle if you're new to the channel why not subscribe don't forget the old bell icon give it a ding ding and uh, yeah I think that's more than enough from me for now so thank you ever so much for watching but for now it's Captain Random signing off take care and I'll see you again in the next one